The silver-tongued orator of the abolitionist movement, Frederick Douglass, raised the question, what to the slave is your 4th of July, an exegesis or remix of that profound prophetic denunciation of the hypocrisy practiced by American democracy, especially during a time of enslavement, causes all of us to ponder afresh the question by Frederick Douglass, what to the slave? is your 4th of July. Of course, Frederick Douglass was speaking during a time where enslavement was a reality in these disunited states of America. And of course, Frederick Douglass wanted to put a mirror, a prophetic mirror to the face of America when he raised that question. And so I think now, some years later, a century plus later, we must afresh revisit the words of Frederick Douglass, what to black people is your 4th of July in these yet to be United States of America to use the language of the late great Maya Angelou. What to the a black America is your 4th of July when black Americans still find themselves agreeing with the poetry that was proclaimed by who was it Langston Hughes? What happens to a dream deferred? He angrily asked and then he poetically responded bonds from river to river, uptown and down. There's liable to be confusion when your dreams get kicked around. What to black people is your 4th of July when our dreams continue? to be kicked around by the nightmare of injustice and justice delayed, often denied. What to black people is your 4th of July when we identify so strongly with Lauren Hill, who rapped about our reality. Black rage is founded on blatant denial, squeezed economic subsistence, survival, deafening silence, social control. Black rage is founded on wounds on the soul, wounds on the soul. What to black people is your 4th of July when we have wounds on our soul, our dreams are getting kicked around. What to black people is your 4th of July. Well, this 4th of July, may we pronounce proudly, prophetically to America that for you, America, don't forget this. You can't get to the 4th of July until you go through June 19th. You cannot get to July 4th if you haven't spent some time looking at Juneteenth, which is the real emancipation day for all of America. Real freedom began to take place on June 19th, 1865, when the Major General reached Galveston, Texas and made the announcement that what had been proclaimed two and a half years later was now ex was now reaching Texas. And so we say to begin with that you don't have a 4th of July until you revisit the fact that freedom was delayed two and a half years. What a metaphor for this country to learn from because the country must know until all all of us are free, ain't none of us free. Until there is justice for all, there ain't justice at all. What is justice? Michael Eric Dyson says it well. Justice is what love sounds like when it speaks in public. We need love to speak publicly because when love speaks publicly, it is not delayed, it is not denied, it is not deferred, but justice in a real sense provides that level playing field of equity and equality of opportunity. What to black people is this 4th of July? It's a time where we remind America, don't you celebrate the 4th of July until you pass through freedom delayed June 19th. Juneteenth, which is a judgment on this country, a judgment that says again, until there is justice for all, there is not justice at all. What to black people is your 4th of July? The 4th of July is a reminder that we've got to go back, here it is, to Juneteenth to take a fresh look at what America 
can be, what America should be. And so may this 4th of July be a time of reflection and introspection as we look at those areas where we have broken the American dream, as we look at those areas where we have delayed justice. But may it also be a time where we reimagine what America can look like. May we reimagine what America should and could become because we ought to reimagine what America can look like and should look like. I think that's what Breonna Taylor wants us to do. We owe it to Breonna Taylor. We owe it to George Floyd. We owe it to Tamir Rice. We owe it to Trayvon Martin. We owe it to Ahmaud Arbery. We owe it, and I can call the role, to all of those individuals whose lives were snatched by them by the lie of America, and since their lives were lost by the lie of America and Jesus says the truth sets you free. Let's reimagine what the truth ought to look like. And when we reimagine what the truth ought to look like, the truth looks like justice rolling down as waters and righteousness as an ever flowing stream. The truth looks like electing and selecting public officials who do justice, love mercy and walk humbly with our God. What does truth? Truth look like truth looks like Jesus saying to America in the judgment. I was hungry and you fed me because you afforded me opportunity through a living wage for all. I was thirsty and you got rid of contaminated water. I was in prison, but you set me free because you were you were determined to undo mass incarceration and the criminality of a justice system that is unjust just and downright criminal. I was a stranger and you opened up your door of hospitality to me. And America can say, and, and America will say to Jesus, Lord, when did, when did we do this? And Jesus will say, when you reimagine what America should be, when you decided to live not according to the lie, but you lived up to the liberating truth. And when you do it to the least of these, my sisters and brothers, you have all also done it unto me. What to black people is your 4th of July? Well, make sure it's not the 4th of you lie, because as long as America is not America to me and to all of my sisters and brothers whose skin has been colored, darkened by nature's sun, America has yet to be America. God bless you. Happy 4th of July. 